Hi, this is Raven. I thought I'd create a quick tutorial as I noticed a few people still want to know how to activate a trigger when the mission starts. Um, typically anything you want to start uh, when the mission starts you do via scripting but in my opinion if it works there is no right or wrong way. So that being said I'll show you how, you, how to do that. Um, I've just got a player down here and I've just dropped a trigger down. In that trigger I've just put a uh, fire a smoke shell just so we can see it working but that will obviously contain whatever you want to to fire at the start of the mission and then what we're going to do in, in condition we're just going to put on start like that that's all you need to do save your mission and then we're going to go to the uh, mission folder so when you open your mission folder you'll typically have a mission.sqm file and that's it but we're going to create a file in here so if you right click go to new and then text document call it init so init and delete the .txt replace that with .sqf just click away yes we're sure and we've now created an init sqf file so an init sqf um, by its nature will start when the mission starts so it's a really good tool to have uh, especially if you're just starting out making missions so we're going to ed edit it in um, notepad++ the first line i'm going to put sleep space five semicolon so what that means is wait five seconds now the reason we want to sort of think about having a, a wait period there is um, it depends how long your mission takes to load up so that can be dependent on a few things one of them um, is how many bits you've got in your mission so I've only got a, a player and a trigger so it's going to load really quickly but if you've got a whole map full of things it might load a bit slower um, it depends on the speed of your PC it can depend on the speed of your internet or the server if you're playing online so these are all things to um, take in consideration and really the only way to, to test it is to fire your uh, your mission up and um, and sort of tweak the, the time to get it all functioning correctly so um, the next line we're going to do is on start space equals space true semicolon and then that's it so we'll save that and close it down go back to the mission so when we start the mission the trigger will should fire after five seconds and then we should see some red smoke let's give that a go There we go. So the only other thing I'll just quickly show you if you open that trigger up. So I did the wait five seconds in the init, but if you do want to put it in the init, you can put it here and it does exactly the same thing. So you put your five in each of those and that will fire after five seconds after the mission starts. Okay, I hope that was helpful.